Hey everybody, I'm Billy. You are. I am Billy. <laughs> and I'm Confirm. Chris. And today we're going to be doing an edition of Christian Essentials talking about the sacraments. The sacraments. That's a thing that we're going to talk about. It might be. <laughs> well, for this edition, we're going to be talking about the sacraments, but you may not know what a sacrament is, so let's just start with this simple question. Chris, what is a sacrament? So uh, there are a lot of basic definitions. One that I've heard before is an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace. And so let's just break that down. So an outward and visible sign of an inward grace. So uh, think about like if you've ever you know, had a boyfriend or girlfriend and you say to them those, uh, those words, I love you, mm. right? Yes. Um, it, it's the difference between saying those words and going out to uh, a field picking up a bouquet of flowers, taking them back, putting them in a vase with some water, and bringing them to your beloved and saying, sweetheart, I love you. Uh, the, the flowers are not just uh, a, a good of God's creation. They become an outward and visible sign mm. of an inward and spiritual grace, which is love that you share with one another. But it's it, it can be shared in a meal or it can be shared um, through a sign or action. So for the church, you know, one of the things that we believe is that God created the world, created it good, mm-hmm. and that the goodness of God's creation can be used as an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace. So the way that works out for the church is that God can work through water and mm-hmm. bread and wine or grape juice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I mean, I've never heard it put that way. I think that's pretty fascinating, actually. What I love so much about the sacraments, so uh, just for context, as United Methodists, we recognize two sacraments. uh, That is baptism uh, and Holy Communion. We'll talk about those in later videos. But what I love about the sacraments is they take very ordinary elements, very ordinary, as you said, water, bread, juice, wine, whatever it may be, and does something sacred with it. And somehow in the most ordinary of things, you just kind of strip away everything else in these very ordinary elements, God instills such an extraordinary truth, such an extraordinary grace. Uh, And we believe that uh, that God is truly present in some shape or fashion through these ordinary elements. That's the very profound thing uh, for me as, you know, as as we kind of continue to discern, like, where do you find God? Where do we, uh, and like, experience the presence of God? There's many different uh, answers to that, and there's many different ways to do it, but I very much love how God promises his presence through these simple elements. There's something beautiful about that. Yeah. Of just getting back to the basics of creation. Yeah, so I think that, um, some people would say, well, you don't need to go to the church mm-hmm. to get your grace or your whatever. Um, I can experience God everywhere. And that's true. You can. Absolutely. God's grace is not under the management and control of the church. However, uh, the church is the steward of God's good gifts. Mm-hmm. And um, so while it is absolutely true that wherever you are, on a mountaintop or you know, on a river or... Um, or wherever it is that you experience God in creation, that that's a place where you can experience God's grace. However, the church has um, seen these two distinct ways, particularly, mm-hmm. uh, that we experience God's grace through, through the sacraments. And another way to think of it is, is simply that these are um, particular ways in which Jesus mm-hmm. both um, taught that we should do these things and did these things himself. Mm-hmm. So they were both, they were instituted um, means uh, of grace in a phrase that is often used in Methodist or Wesleyan circles that, you know, uh, sacraments are means of God's grace for us. They're channels through which we can experience God. And something I really also love about the sacraments, the sacraments are all about God's work that invokes a response from people, from us as believers, but really it is about the work of God. You know, we're big believers uh, in infant baptism for that reason, this whole idea of prevenient grace, of, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit, but the same with communion, about Christ's sacrifice, the work of, of, of Christ that we get to respond to, the work of the Holy Spirit in baptism claiming us. That, yes, does invoke a response that pushes us to be the body of Christ, to be uh, more of who God calls us to be, but it all begins with what God is 
is doing. And that is both uh, refreshing. Uh, it's, it's almost like an exhale, a sigh of relief for me that I get to receive the grace, the means of grace, as you say, receive the grace of God before I go out and be who he called me to be. It all begins with his work, which is another thing that the sacraments remind us of. It's all about what he is doing and how we get to be a part of that. So the next um, conversation we're going to talk about, particularly baptism, and then in another uh, conversation we'll talk about Holy Communion. So stick around as we dive a, a little bit more deeply into each of these particular sacraments.